Good evening, this is Bell Field, and we are back with some more X-Plain 11. Howdy folks, we are back, continuing our Papua New Guinea tour in the Evector EV55 Outback. This particular livery is affectionately known as the Raven. So, catching you up from last episode, we made it here to Nibire Airport, which is uh, Whiskey Alpha Bravo India. It's close to the coast, so we're actually going to be traveling to a different airport, a little bit further down the coast, but we're making a scheduled stop at a little beach airstrip. I've been asked to transport some cargo out to Teluk Beach, and why are my props spinning? I guess the wind picked up a little bit. I didn't realize that they can free spin like that. Hmm. I'm sure that'll change once we get everything started up. But yeah, I started to say, I took the liberty of changing us around to the cargo configuration because we're going to be dropping off some cargo over at Teluk Beach. The full name, I can't even pronounce, so I'm not going to attempt to butcher it. Um, but we do have Giant Mouse, so we'll use Giant Mouse to close all the doors. And we'll click that off. I'll close this door manually. All right, but yes, all of our cargo is strapped in, so we took all the seats out with our magic little checklist there. We can put them back in a little bit later. Uh, we're going to pick up some cargo there and head off to the next airport, and then we'll probably do some more uh, passenger flights here. All right, let's get everything started up here. So main battery, secondary battery, bus tie. Uh, let me see, yeah, I really should go through a checklist with this thing here. That'd make life a lot easier. Alright, nav, beacon, and we'll get our instrument lights up, which basically all that does is that makes our little ICAS and MFD and everything a little bit brighter so it's easier to see. That is all it does does. Comes in handy in the nighttime, though. I did fly this thing in the night. I may do a nighttime episode. I've discovered that nighttime episodes don't really translate that well for YouTube. All right, let me set our altitude here. Uh, let's see, 5,000 should be good. We're not going that far. It's probably about 30 miles, if that, from where we are right now. And let me lock our door. Oh, I keep forgetting I need to click Wait, yeah, I guess it is that one I need to click. Okay, well, that's done. But now the important thing to remember about this airport that we're going to on Toluk Beach, it is not on the GPS. As a matter of fact, it's barely on the map. So this is going to be fun getting out there. I've never been to this airport before, so this should be really cool. But this is also a part of that Suzy Air package that I've been using. So if you want to try that out, the link, of course, will be in the description below. All right, let's get our fuel pump on, auto igniter for engine two, and everything looks good on this end, so we'll go clear prop. Oh, how do you like that? The props are actually spinning backwards. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so alternator on, or generator if you prefer. We'll get the fuel pump and the auto igniter for engine one, and we'll go clear prop. That is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen an aircraft that has the props just free spinning like that if there's wind blowing. That's neat. That is very neat. All right, generator's on, and let me see here. Okay, none of that needs to be set. Okay, let's get our taxi lights on. I think that's everything that we need. We don't need the seat belts and the no smoking signs today. I mean, what's the cargo going to do? Strap itself in tighter? Who knows? All right, flaps down. I'm still having a little bit of problems with my trim, but I'm going to set our takeoff trim anyway and hope it kind of behaves itself for this flight. All right. Everything looks clear, so let's go.
Alrighty folks, say goodbye to our marshalers as we make our way to the runway. I will remind you that Nibiru Airport does not have a proper taxiway. It basically just goes from the apron to the runway. So we're going to need to do some backtracking here before we take off. For now, let's get our brakes on. And we'll hold short nicely. We'll get our landing lights on. Turn the beacon off and the strobe. I'm still waiting for you all to chime in the comments as to how you do that. Whether you keep the beacon on or if you turn the beacon off before you take off. Alright, transponder, you are on, and autopilot, crap, I forgot the autopilot doesn't work with my helmet mounted uh, blue dot there, so I'm going to need big huge mouse, and we're going to turn on our nav hold and our VS, or vertical speed, hmm, I just noticed I have an issue here, if you take a look at the autopilot panel on the far left, you'll notice that when I clicked on a nav hold, it turned the autopilot on. I'm going to need to turn that off before we get going. Otherwise, that's going to be like the takeoff of the Sentry, and it's not going to be pretty, let me just tell you. All right, let me get our V-speed set up here. I'm thinking a 1,000 feet per minute coming off this runway should be fine because we've got a pretty clear path, and it's over water pretty much, so we should be good there. So let me set that real quick. One of the funny things that I've noticed as I've been recording these things, even though I see things really close up because I'm in the Oculus Rift, what you see on YouTube makes it kind of look like I'm miles away from the uh, dashboard there. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, I expected that. Okay, so we're pretty much set. All we need to do now is go down that end and then turn around. So, brakes, you're off. You may notice I still have the uh, condition lever low as well as our mixture on ground idle. That's fine. I really don't want to go shooting down the runway just yet. Alright, so we're going to make a left here. Windsock says we need to take off in the other direction. I gotta admit, I really kind of like this airport. The only thing that kind of upsets me is the fact that it doesn't have the city. Here we are, runway 34. Okay, let's do our final checks here, and now would be a great time for me to get that uh, condition lever up to full. Bearing in mind, mind you, that we're going to need to pull it back after we take off, so that way we're not like overstressing stuff. Put that to flight idle, it's going to bring itself up. We've got our brakes down, so it's almost time for brakes down, throttles up. Turn that off, so that way we don't have nose wheel steering. Hopefully I won't run into an issue like I did when we first started this little tour here. Alright, here we go. Brakes down, throttles up. Uh, everything looks good. Okay, brakes off. We got a little bit of red here, but I'm okay with that for now. Okay, we're past stall speed. We're at about V1, VR. Come on, baby. And here's our V2 speed. Okay, good deal. Nice takeoff. Absolutely delightful. All right, let's get our gear up. Get the flaps up to eventually as we make our way over the beach and say goodbye to the skyscrapers at Nibiru. That's what I was talking about. There's no city there, there's just four skyscrapers. That needs 
more work, but I'm not going to leave it to the developer to do that. I'm thinking that W2XP might be able to help me with that. So I'll do some experimentation since I now learned that W2XP is a downloadable program that will help you to get all of the things that you need instead of just downloading batches of scenery for here, there, and everywhere. All right, so we're going to swing out to the left. GPS says we need to be tracking that way anyway. An important note about this uh, flight path that I have us taking here, uh, we're only going to go about halfway down the path. Let me get our autopilot on here. Whoa. All of a sudden, my ICAST looks like uh, a reggae flag there. Holy crap. Inverted traffic light. All right, so there's our coastline. Uh, where we're going is off in that direction. Like I said, probably about 30 miles or so out, but with it not appearing on the GPS, I've actually got this down to a science. I need to wait till the GPS says about 50 miles left to our next airport, and then we're gonna hang a left and go on a heading of about 280. So let me bring us up here a bit. All right, I think we are good to go. Now folks, I've been toying with the idea of getting back into SkyMax Pro. I already purchased SkyMax Pro, and I was using it for a while in X-Plane 10, and for a brief moment in X-Plane 11 before I switched to uh, X and Viral. But I have a funny feeling that SkyMax Pro might actually suit my needs. Get our lights off here. So. Don't be too surprised if in the next episode I start experimenting a little bit and see what I can come up with with SkyMax Pro. Because right now, those default clouds that you're looking at, even though they look really good in X-Plane, and I will never complain about the clouds, they are robbing me of FPS here in this Oculus Rift. You might have noticed throughout our little tour here that as I get further and further along, the weather is getting progressively worse. There's a thought process behind that. I want to see eventually how this thing handles in IFR conditions, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, I am thinking I'm going to zoom this out a second here and take a look, see where we're headed. All right, so the airport that's actually listed where we're going to be landing is not where we're headed. But yeah, I'm going to wait till I'm about 50 miles out from there and then we'll make our turn manually. In the meantime, let me get our prop levers down. So it had to be what, 1950 if I remember correctly? Right about there should do it. Can't say enough good things about this aircraft. Octus Delineations has done an outstanding job on this. And I have to admit, I've never even heard of them before. I'm guessing this might be like their first aircraft or maybe one of the first aircraft that they've done. But suffice to say, I really, really have grown to love this aircraft. It's just chock full of all kinds of goodness. And I can't see any of our islands out on the horizon. I know they're supposed to be like an oil rig or something out there and I remember putting a bunch of cruise liners around to help me find my way because usually whenever I set up videos like this I'll um, do some work in wet just to make sure that it will actually suit my needs all right uh, let me just change our heading here I think we need to be on 280 oh wait 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 I think we're on 280 hold on here yeah, that's already set to 280. Okay. Apparently, I am so good at flight planning that I forgot that I did some flight planning for this. <laughs> Typical. All right. Fuel pumps. Let's go ahead and get you off. We won't need you until we're getting ready to land. 
So what can I tell you about uh, Tuluk, uh, whatever the hell the name of this airport is? Uh, I want to say it's probably Chandrawisa or something like that, but don't murder me if you're from Papua New Guinea. I already warned you guys, I don't know how to pronounce your places there. But yeah, it's on a beach, and apparently it also doubles as a pig farm. No clue what that could possibly mean. Okay, folks, welcome back, and we are at the point right now that I think we should be able to get off course, so to speak, and on a direct heading for Tuluk Airport. I'm looking to see if there's any familiar landmarks that I may have placed. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot, so I might have to rely on the GPS. Which says, yeah, I'm about where I need to be. Okay. Alright. So, big huge mouse. We are going to need you again because I need to take this thing off of nav hold and put it onto heading hold. Okay, we're done with you. Go away, big mouse cursor. Alright, let me just make sure that did the trick. Yes, it looks like it did. And we are slowly but surely turning towards heading to eight. Zero. Perfect. Now, if I played my cards right and I did the homework that I've been doing prior to setting this episode up, this should literally take us right to that beach. And it's on a little strip of land. It's kind of hard to describe. It's like, you remember when I was flying in Jamaica and I was flying around Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston? That airport is on a little isthmus, which is like a strip of land that juts out into the bay. This is the same basic idea, except from my understanding, it takes up almost that entire isthmus. So it's going to be interesting to see what the approach into this is going to be like. Also, from my understanding, it is really, really hilly in that area. I'm just hoping that those hills don't extend to the part that I need to fly over on approach. Yeah. I know my luck. It's probably going to be some crap like that, but... Regardless, we're still going to go ahead and push it because, you know what, this is all about adventure. This is all about doing stuff that I don't normally do. That was the whole idea behind doing this whole Papua New Guinea tour thing. I've never really done any kind of bush flying, whether in real life or in Sims, so this is all new to me. And so far, i got to admit, I'm having a lot of fun. Alright, uh, let's see. What are you doing here? trim. Okay, it looks like it's stabilizing us back out at 5,000. Alright, not sure exactly what problem I was having last episode which, with the uh, pitch trim, but it appears to have corrected itself. No clue what I may or may not have done to cause that to act up, but hey, as long as she's holding her altitude and she's holding her speed just below the red line, that is all I care about. We should be at top of descent momentarily. But first, some outside shots. Tally one cruise ship, tally one oil rig. Okay, so we should be just about nearing top of descent. And I do believe our island should be directly ahead, now that we can see the other end of this little bay here. Alright, I'm going to swing us a little bit more to the left, because even though I know that 280 will get us directly to the island, I believe we have to come in to the north, so I kind of want to be, you know, like, south of the area. Alright, uh, let me take a quick gander here. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're in pretty much the right spot. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to remain positive here, folks, but 
this stuff is not easy, this whole bush flying thing. You know, coming into unfamiliar airports, you're not sure if your aircraft will even be able to handle it. And there's even less information online to work with. But, I'm just going to turn off my autopilot, bite my tongue, take a deep breath, and begin our descent. After I slow us down a little bit here. Alright, I want to say... Yeah, that's not it. We need to pass... We need to pass like a whole forest area before we get to it. But we will get to it. I promise that. turbulence there. Alright, I'm not going to worry too much about it because I can clearly see the isthmus up ahead that we are looking for. So, so far we're doing pretty good. We still need to be a little bit to the left of it. But actually, you know what? Okay. Alright, let me turn our lights on here and then I'll tell you my thought. We'll also get that um, fuel pump back on too. Both of them. Okay, so, so here's my thought on this. Since I have not come into this airport, obviously I've taken a look at what the airport looks like from the ground just to make sure in web that everything lines up the way that it should be because naturally I have to make a little bit of modifications here and there. But since I am not familiar with this airport, what I'm thinking I should do is actually a circuit of the airport. In other words, we'll go around and take our bearings before we land. Okay, so, it looks like it is smack dab down the center of the skinny part of the isthmus, so that is exactly where I need this runway to be. And there's that green forested area that I saw, so, okay, we are definitely in the right place. There's a little island over there with a private house that I'll probably show off in the next episode. I don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling, whether or not I want to continue being along the coast or if I want to go inland and try some more of those mountain strips. But for now, let's uh, set ourselves up to come around. Okay, yeah, you can start to see the airstrip there. I keep calling it an airport. Everything by default to me is an airport, even if it is just like a little grass strip. It's an airport. Okay, but let's see what we've got here. like this is where we need to be. Okay, so I know that the ICAO code for this is uh, Whiskey X-Ray Tango Charlie, but again, don't ask me to even pronounce this name. I have no freaking clue. But it looks like we might be able to make it. So let's go ahead and swing ourselves around and we'll get ourselves into our landing configuration. There's the terminal, and there's what appears to be a dock. Oh wow, I wonder if they have seaplanes there. Oh, that would be cool. It's been a long time since I've flown in a float plane or a seaplane. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, this should be textbook. We should just be able to take it down to pattern altitude. We'll do our downwind now, and then we'll do like an exaggerated U-turn for our base leg, and we'll just come in. I think we can handle this. I think we can handle this quite nicely. Okay, I am going to begin our base leg turn here, and like I said, we're going to make it pretty much like an exaggerated U-turn here. I really don't feel the need to go all the way out to the forested area, even though that was part of the reason why I was looking for it, was to factor that into my downwind to base leg. 
Alright, um, altitude, uh, we're a little high up here, but as long as I can see the runway, I feel a little bit more confident about this approach. now or never. I know we're coming in a little too fast here, but I should be able to pull it off of the thrust reversers. And what in the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Those were pigs on the runway. Okay, you know what? Let's make another run around this airport. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to stop this thing. Holy crap, they're freaking pigs on the runway. So that's what they meant by pig farm. Okay, I got you. But on the bright side, I didn't see any others further down the runway, so uh, we might be able to pull this off if I come back around, preferably a little bit slower. As long as those pigs don't start running all over the place, we might be able to just go over their heads and land with enough time. But it just, it just means I need to be Johnny on the spot with this prop reverser, though. There's freaking pigs at the end of the runway. Okay, well, that was <laughs> largely unexpected. Dang. I don't remember those being there when I originally checked out this airport. Hmm. Okay, so, remember that forested area that I was telling you about? I'm thinking we're going to need to go back over there. And while I'm at it, I'm going to put our prop pitch up to full since I'm planning on using the reversers. Okay. Well, folks... Let's try this again, with less bacon. That is one thing I like about the Raven, is she can pretty much get in anywhere. I just have to set her up properly. So, we've got the full prop pitch, everything is flashing red every now and then, but that's okay. That's okay, I can deal with it. We're coming in at about 400 feet right now, and I'm going to slowly but surely bring us down. We'll keep us on the blue line here. We're going to show these pigs. Oh yes, baby, we are going to show these pigs. Alright, buckle up, folks. I can't guarantee your safety on this one. reversers and you know what I think I'm even gonna hit the brakes on this one too okay that is what I'm talking about did I not tell you the Raven would get us in safely folks welcome to to look Chandra we say or whatever the heck it's called beach but we're here and one of the best parts about being here is there's people on the beach. Yay! Okay, so now that we're in, we just need to taxi past all these smoking barrels. Uh, they really need to update this. Luckily, uh, some of the cargo that I've got on board for this place includes some makeshift taxi lights for this airport, so I'm going to be able to dump that off for them. And yeah, there's a bunch of people sunbathing and stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to take this time to have a little bit of downtime here in Papua because I need to sample these lovely exotic beaches. 
So yeah, that is about to be a thing. Hmm. Alright, uh, now where do I park, first of all? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I want to park over that side, but I might be able to loop around here. Yeah, we'll just go past this luggage here. Alright, swing her around, do -si do They obviously got some kind of money here. You saw that airport beacon they've got? Except they're still running on generators. Interesting. Alright, this, I believe, is our parking spot. Okay, right here should be good. Alrighty, folks, welcome to Tuluk Beach. Only thing left to do now is power everything down and call it done. Okay, so we made it safe and sound after one go around, but that's okay. I am I'm perfectly fine with that. I can live with that. So we're gonna have a little bit of R and R here, and then next episode we're gonna do something completely different before we hop back into the Raven and continue our Papua tour, which incidentally should have about three or maybe four more legs to go before we're completely done with this area of the world and then we can move on to another area all right but at this point in time i would like to thank all of you for watching as always this is bell geode i have been flying in x-plane 11 the aircraft that i've been using has been the octus delineations e vector ev 55 outback this livery does come standard with it this livery is actually called the raven hence this entire uh, series name that i've been doing here if you enjoy what you've seen, please feel free to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. The links to this aircraft as well as the sceneries that I'm using are in the video description below. So, I'm heading to the beach. I don't know about you all, but I'll catch you all later. Ciao!